If I give him a microphone, there you go. I've decided to take it and have it all to myself. Keith, uh, what do you think then of the final day of the season? Your view on it? Um, right, where do I start? Uh, probably page one. Um, the remit uh, that I was given when I walked into the football club. Uh, retain league status. Don't care how, uh, who you use, what needs to be done, needs to be done. Keep us in the division. Uh, that's been done. Page two. Page two. Uh, page two is exciting. Page page two. Without uh, it's not got the word change written in it anywhere. It's got it says, but it says different. Uh, next season will be different. Uh, on inside the changing room, there will be a difference. But not changes. Um, things things are going to be different. Players are going to be different. I'm not, I'm not going to say the word, because uh, it doesn't matter, because as soon as you say the word change, people automatically clam up, oh, because we don't like change. And I'm saying, well, well there's not going to be change, there's gonna be, things are going to be done differently, there's going to be different personnel, there's going to be a different attitude, a different mentality. Um, some things are going to be the same, uh, and some things that I like, but uh, other things uh, we're going to have a different approach to. Change is topical today. Um, it's been quite split from the audience, and actually in this commentary box as well, over the game itself, the value of ha making sure you get a win against starting to look to the future, trying to interview a few young lads. There is a split there. Do you feel that ultimately today you could have gone more hell-bent for a win and tried to manage the game more or were your priorities more looking towards the future? Again, I think you have an opportunity to, I know I know what's in the football club um, to a degree. Some of the younger players, uh, some of the players that would, would uh, by other people could be called fringe players, you need to give them the opportunity to go and play. You need to find out, can they handle it? Uh, uh, do, they, do they thrive? Do they relish? Do, do they uh, step up to the mark? Or uh, do they do frailties within their game get exposed? The only place to find that out is Saturday afternoon, uh, where it counts. The both sides of that argument is that there's some fans getting in touch saying that the first half was the best 45 minutes they've seen all season. Second half, they feel that you might have had an impact with the changes that you made. Well, again, there's a, obviously when you're putting substitutes on, um, I'm, I'm not going to blame the young lads. I think the young lads, they've, uh, it's been a, a long season for them as well, um, but they've done fantastically well to, uh, and they've been... Um, they've uh, they've shone uh, in the times that I've seen them. I've had the opportunity to go and see some of the training sessions, some of the games that they have played, uh, and they've stood out and they've showed uh, they've, they've showed little bits and pieces that they've earned the the right. Uh, and I'm not going to blame this. You don't blame the kids for for that defeat today. What you say is there's been certain things within the fabric of the uh, of the changing room, whereby it doesn't surprise me uh, from being three 0 up that you end up three three. Um, which, yeah, that is disappointing. But right, the, the lad, the, some of the younger players have had a chance. Some of the players that are not um, first team regulars have had an opportunity. Uh, which, 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 again, I don't make. It's not a knee jerk reaction uh, on the basis of uh, 90 minutes or 45 minutes. Uh, there's, there's a decision process that needs to be made. It's going to be made on Monday, whereby the players. Uh, the one thing they can't say is that they haven't been given the opportunity. Just to be clear on it, uh, 